Hello there, everyone. Guys, am I buying Peppercoin right now? Because Peppercoin is really, really down. Is this the opportunity of the lifetime? And what am I buying that I think has more potential than Bitcoin? This is what is going to be revealed in today's video. So watch it from the beginning and until the end. Guys, this is going to be a very important video. So the reason why I'm bringing up Pepe is because Pepe pop and dump from 1.8 billion market cap to 800 million in just four days. And this is what it looks like. This is, guys, it's down 76%. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that this is a huge opportunity. This is the beginning of something huge. And, guys, I've done a video on Pepe where I analyze the fundamentals, the hype, the all the analytical factors that I usually look at when I invest into certain coins with my hedge fund uh, or if I invest into those uh, privately as retail. And I'm going to link this video somewhere up here. You can check it out. And uh, certainly, the answer to the question of whether I'm actually buying Pepe, well, let me get to the point soon. Let me first give you some interesting news. Let's quickly take a look at Bitcoin, because there's so many things we need to take a look at. And then I'm going to give you my honest uh, take on Pepe and what I'm investing in, etc. So, first things first, let's quickly talk about this right here. This is what I brought up in one of my previous videos, actually. And for now, uh, this is like the same formation that we had a lot of liquidations here, a lot of long liquidations and a lot of short liquidations. And right now we're having a lot of long liquidations and potentially um, a lot of short liquidations. Uh, so, and if we're going to go to the Bitcoin chart, we're going to actually see that we had a small retracement, just technically. Uh, we did break down below this whole wedge formation. And we actually retraced back and got um, uh, got some resistance. We actually closed in the daily chart below um, this, uh, well, it used to be support, this dotted white line. And now we're standing below it. And a lot of people are saying, oh, technical analysis doesn't work. Works every time for me. So if you want to learn how to do these things properly, then guys, jump on a call with my success team. There is uh, one seat left for VAP mentorship. We're actually mentor you one-on-one. -on -one. It's not a cheap mentorship, but it is a freaking amazing one. So if you want to get into the world of trading and investing fast and with an experienced guide, then this is the place to be. So go down in the description of this video, click on the button to sign up for a call with my success team. They will explain how much it costs, how the mentorship works, and it is the best trading mentorship in the freaking world. So uh, go and sign up for the call now. So, uh, when it comes to uh, the technical on Bitcoin, this is what we're currently seeing. And actually, uh, I added to my long trade, as you might remember right here. So, I'm pretty much close to my break-even point for this long trade. We'll see. I'm expecting this continuation to the upside. But we'll see what happens in the short-term perspective. If it goes down, I will add some more to my long trade here at 25K. Because I think that 25K is going to be a massive, massive support. Now, let's move on to what is, in my opinion, more important. Right now, uh, some uh, macro events I wanted to discuss before we talk about Pepe and talk about what I'm personally investing in right now that I think has more, uh, actually more potential than Bitcoin. And uh, is it Pepe? Well, again, watch this video till the end. So first things first, consumer debt passes 17 trillion for the first time despite the slide in mortgage demand. This is crazy, guys. $17 trillion of debt of people in US. This is just sad. This is just so sad. What is even more sad is Argentina has increased, raised the interest rates to 97% and it still struggles to tackle inflation. I mean, 97% interest rates. I mean, the world is, bro it's just broken. The, this system is just, it's sad. It's broken. And people who did not discover Bitcoin, I think that they are actually very upset. And there is a lot of people. And just make sure you're not one of those people in future in your country, because this is coming to every country sooner or later. So now also, you want to pay attention to the fact that Ray Dalio's Bridgewater, um, actually, Ray Dalio, I mean, he is a huge Wall Street guy. And his Bridgewater uh, uh, hedge fund dumped all bank stocks amid turmoil in the first quarter. So uh, and I mean, he usually is a very good, uh, you know, signal as to what's happening because he is pretty good. So and um, he used to have, I mean, a bunch of stuff that he was holding like Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley and Bank of America Corporation. He dumped all of it, like pretty much like 95 percent. So it's it is pretty crazy. So this just shows that. Uh, there ha can be very huge turmoil still in the banking system to come. So we really have to pay attention to this. Now, next thing is this. Billionaire and legendary Wall Street uh, fund manager 
Paul Tudor says, well, let's see what he says about Bitcoin. I, I, from the beginning, I've always said I want to have a small allocation to it because it's a great tail event. It's the only thing that humans can adjust the supply in. So I, I'm sticking with it. Uh, I'm going to. So just long story short, he's saying that Bitcoin is the most superior asset and currency in the world and something, the only thing that human beings, the goddamn human beings cannot adjust the supply of and therefore dilute the current supply and therefore hurt those who are actually holding it. So therefore Bitcoin, and this is coming from a legendary Wall Street billionaire. He's saying that Bitcoin is the best. So, and I mean, considering what we are saying in Argentina and US and the debt ceiling, Bitcoin is the future, guys. Okay, let's move on real quick. Now, uh, let's get to the topic of what am I buying? Is it Pepe? And let me just give you an understanding of what my hedge fund is investing in and to what I'm personally investing in. Is it this bloody frog? And I'm not going to even pull it up. Is it the frog? Guys, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. And by the way, if you want to be trading Pepe or really anything else out there, then you can actually do it over on Bybit. This is where I'm personally trading with my exclusive link down, which you can find down in the description of this video. You can claim up to $30,000 in initial deposit bonuses. You can enter into Adam Gay Diver Watch giveaway, uh, get my famous paid investing crypto course uh, for absolutely free, uh, clean, claimable in my Discord, and all deposited users get access to my crypto signals community for free. There's also a link to it down in the description of this video. But uh, Bybit has gone to mandatory KYC because they're big, they're reliable, and the governments are pushing them to have a KYC. So if you, for some reason, cannot do a KYC, and they're doing a huge bonus right now to do the KYC on Bybit, and I would suggest you doing so. But if you cannot do it, then there is also a link to Bitfinex down in the description of this video, which does not require KYC. So it's no KYC, but it's small. So I would still suggest taking with Bybit. But if you can't, Bit, uh, Bitflex um, is actually pretty good as a trading platform itself, but it's pretty small. So you have to uh, factor that in. So, okay, um, now let's talk about what am I investing in? What am I buying? Is it Pepe? No. <laughs> No, guys, you cannot predict what is going to happen to Pepe because it's all just one big manipulation, big whales dumping on people. It's a, it could be called a rug pull. Is it going to survive? Maybe. So, like, you cannot put a price target on just human hype. As I, Isaac Newton has said that he can predict the movement of stars or whatever, but just not the insanity of human being. By betting on Pepe, you're just gambling. So what am I personally investing in? Well, let me show you. And what I think is going to outperform Bitcoin. Right now, we're seeing that Ethereum has plunged to um, record lows in terms of supply on the exchanges. So this is absolutely incredible. We had huge fears that um, uh, Ethereum is going to dump because of the Shanghai upgrade and the ability to actually withdraw the staked ETH. We had millions and millions and billions, I think, of dollars worth of ETH being staked. And right now, actually, as the uh, unstaking became possible, uh, it didn't really dump. And right now we're seeing a lot of Ethereum flowing out of exchanges uh, to record low levels. This is actually, I mean, the price it is what it is because it's the bear market. There is lack of liquidity, a lot of uncertainty with this and that, with a billion things, really. Uh, but at the same time, the amount of uh, coins on the exchange actually signalizes a bullish momentum, at least in a long-term perspective, because there is less to be sold. That said, it just affects supply and demand. And also what we want to see is actually Ethereum deposited in, uh, excluding interest is actually, uh, this is just Lido, but it is actually going up. So the number of staked ETH is actually going up. So we thought that it's going to be, you know, big catalyst event potentially to the downside when Ethereum is going to get unstaked uh, by so many people because they finally can unstake it. But actually, there was some unstaking. Yes, some people sold. But actually, and from then, it started going up again in terms of staking. And imagine there people are getting good return on their money. It's much better to say at least you somehow in U.S. can... Um, you know, compensate for the inflation with Ethereum and you're holding at the same time the most deflationary asset out there in the world, which is absolutely unbelievable. So and this is, guys, exactly what I'm personally investing in. I think that Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin in terms of returns in the next bull market. Not Pepe, forget, forget this rubbish. Pumps it, pumps it, dumps it, dumps, who cares? Utility, real world value. And these things right here, 
they don't lie. And this is what I'm personally going to be investing in. Real utility, real numbers, real metrics. So guys, check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade Bitcoin with proper risk and money management. And as always, peace and love. Don Scralo, stay smart, stay very rich, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.